Hello guys, welcome back to Show Learning. Have you ever thought that asking a good questions to your student is an art which can create a big impact while conducting a lesson? It is a complex and multifaceted skill that affect almost every part of a teaching. It comes in a sequence and making a good questions is like a building a steps. If you manage it properly, then staircase of questions can lead students up to great height. We will go through six techniques which will help you to ask good questions. Technique number one, one at a time. It is general observation that while teaching, most of the teacher get excited as they are passionate about what they are teaching. As a result, they start asking more questions at a time to students. Hold on, discipline yourself. Ask one question at a time. It will help student to focus and develop one idea at a time. Remember, questioning with a specific goal in mind, not with desire to spark discussion. Example, teacher asks a question to students. What is the difference between a sandwich and a grilled sandwich? And what would you prefer? So actually, in this, we have asked two questions. One needs students to compare and explain the details and the other nudges them to provide an opinion. Comparing and explaining is different and asking opinion is different which requires a different thought process. If you do so, students may choose not to give answer as they get confused or feel that the teacher's question is not well planned. So remember that whenever you ask a question, don't offer a menu of questions. Unnecessarily, it will create confusion and make your class inefficient. Technique number 2. Simple to complex. The idea of simple to complex can be compared with a climbing to mountain. We all have to reach at the top but start at the same place that is bottom. So in this strategy, we have to use the same concept. Start by asking a simple question first, then slowly we can increase the level of the questions. Students will show increased participation in this method. This technique will help to engage students to think about the topic and activate their memory. They would like to attempt and answer broader, higher order questions more confidently. Example, so whenever you are asking questions, you can start with fact based questions to ensure that students understood the fact about the topic. Then you can ask such questions in which students have to evaluate and prioritize the information. Third, you can ask some questions in which students can apply their ideas and figure out the solution. Technique number 3. No bait and switch. To ask a good question is the most glorious task of a teacher in the process of teaching. Teacher asks the question, wait for the hands to go up, then call the student to answer. This is the simple process, but sometimes teacher repeats the question and while repeating, she changes the question. If we change the question, one student raised their hand, then quality of answer may decrease, they get distracted, they get confused. It may even result in complete silence from the students. So you should remember that do not change the word or question once you ask the question or you repeat the question in the class. Example, suppose you ask the class, what do you think the author is saying in this poem? Students would raise their hands to answer. Then, while repeating the question, before they have answered, you ask, what is the purpose of this poem? It will create a huge impact on the student's desire to answer the question. Technique number 4. Clear and concise. If many of the students are giving you the wrong answer, it might be possible that problem lies in the way you are asking the question. In such situation, we can use this technique. The main purpose of this technique is to challenge students to think critically. We can use this technique in various ways like Start with a question word Who, when, what, where, why, how, which Students think that it's a question and they start thinking about the answer. Whenever you are creating lesson plan, at that time only create questions and responses. This will help to frame clear questions. Follow clear way to ask the question. You can ask who can tell me instead of that can anyone tell me did you find the mistake? Yes. The second expression expresses doubts. Technique number 5. Stop questions. As a teacher your questioning skills should generate mental workout for the students. It should clear misconception and reinforce concepts. 
This require pre-thinking. Don't create your questions on the spot. Follow a logical path and map your sequence. Each questions should based on the theme and varied approach. Example: If you ask your students to describe their dream meal, it might be difficult for them to answer. Instead of that, you can break down the question into its component parts. Then students can easily answer the question like, "What kind of food do you like?" what's your favorite food where do you like to eat this food do you like to eat at home or at a restaurant when do you like to eat this food do you enjoy it for breakfast lunch or dinner or the weekend or weekdays or in summer or winter with whom do you like to eat this food family friends or alone by the end of this sequence students will be able to answer the most difficult question which we started with what is their dream meal hope this technique will help you to ask good questions and respond to student don't forget to subscribe our channel happy teaching